Hello everyone. We are now on Math 6 Q4 Week 5 the module and uh, we will be talking about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Alright, so let's have a review first. Complete the table, write the equivalent fraction, decimal, and percent. Right. Kung tutuusin, ito yung mga common fractions, decimals, and percents. And then, mas maganda kung alam mo kung paano i-change yung fraction to decimal and percent. And then, percent to decimal and fraction then. Then, decimal to percent or fraction. Or any any of the three. Okay? So, first, let's have one half. Ang fraction, para i-change mo into decimal, i-divide mo lang yan. So, using long division, 1 divided by 2 lalabas dapat yan ang 0.5. Kahit pa calculator ang gagamitin mo dito, ito rin ang kalabasan yan. Kaya lang, uh, dahil ang percent is per 100, per 100, so dapat, okay, kapag i-change mo ito into percent, move mo yung decimal point mo hanggang sa hundreds place. So, that would be 1, 2. And since walang nakalagay dito, eh, didagdagan mo lang ng 0. So, that would be 5 dito and then 0 dyan. So, sagot natin, 4% is 50%. Right? And then, for 75%, change to fraction that is 75 over 100. Kaya lang, um, reduce mo to lowest term that is just 3 fourths. Bakit? Kasi, pwede mo i-divide yung 75 by 25 at saka yung 100 by 25. So, Merong tatlong 25 sa 75, apat naman sa 100. Kaya, you have 3 fourths dito. Okay? And then, for decimal, mula dito, mas madali. So, mula dito pa, uh, i-change to decimal, move ka lang ng dalawang decimal places ulit. But this time, pakaliwa ka na. Okay? Kasi, yung decimal point supposed to be ay nandito, ito na yung ilipat mo dito sa harap ng 7. So, this is now 0.75. Okay? And then, decimal naman, papunta sa percent, madali lang ito, di ba? Kasi pa kanan naman, naman ngayon. So, this is 1, 2, this will be 25%, di ba? Kaya lang, for fraction, this is 25 over 100, divide ulit by 25 yung dalawa, or, yung 25 kasi is 1 fourth of 100, so this is just 1 fourth, and then ito ay 25%. And then, yung 3 fifth, divide mo yan, you would come up with 0.6, and then, move ng isa, dalawa, this will now be 60%. Pero, kung tatandaan nyo, um, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So, ang 1 fifth ng 100 is 20%. Or 20, di ba? So, tatlong 20, edi 60%. Ganun lang. Okay? Kaya nga, madaling tandaan ito. Pero, ito, 0.125, this is actually 1 eighth. Kasi, this is 125 over 1,000 in fraction, pero reduce the lowest term, that's 1 8. Pero kung magsimula ka with 1 8, 1 divided by 8, ito ang lalabas. Okay? And then, para makuha yung percent, move ka ng isa, dalawa. So, dito na yung point. So, this will now be 12.5 percent. Introduction of the topic. So, we are going to have uh, problem solving, right? And the steps in solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph is just the same as in previous lessons in problem solving. So, ano ba yun? Yung mga steps na sinusundan ay pareho lang. So, first step is understand the problem and pasok dito yung uh, knowing what is asked and what are given. And then, kasunod dyan is planning. So, under the second step, which is plan, you need to know the operation to be used and what is the best strategy na pwede mo magamit sa problem na isosolve mo. And then, yung letter C, solve mo na. Compute ka na. And then, for letter D, check and look back. Balikan mo ang operation na ginoo. Pwedeng uh, through illustrations or kabaliktaran sa ginawa mo dito para malaman kung tama yung sagot mo. Alright? So, let's have example 1. A survey was conducted on, on the subjects that the pupils like most in a school. A total of 80 pupils participated in the survey. The pie graph shows the result. How many pupils like science subjects? So, ito yung pie graph niya. 
these are the subjects pupils like most and then it shows here mathematics is at 40 percent uh, science is at 20 percent agriculture at 25 percent and english at 15 percent for a total of 100 percent so first step understand the problem so under this one we need to know what is asked so when you when we check what is asked go back to the question so how many pupils like science subject so that would be the total or the, the number of pupils who like science subject the most again so the number of pupils who like science subject or science the most and then what are given so para sa given you can start with the problem and then check mo yung problem nandito yung given na 80 pupils total and then after that the data on the pie graph so given is first 80 pupils and then agriculture that is 25 percent science is 20 percent english is 15 percent and math is 40 percent so what are given would be based dito sa problem at saka sa data on the pie graph next step is plan so ano ang, ang gagawin natin so balik tayo with the question how many pupils like science subjects so it's it's just asking for the science subject so kung titignan mo yung science that is 20 percent so you would say na mom this is 20 percent of 80 so kung 20 percent of 80 remember ang of ay pwede mong palitan na multiplication sign so obviously Operation to be used here is multiplication kasi 20% of 80 lang naman ang hahanapin natin kasi yun lang naman ang nasa science. Letter C. Sorry, may nagpupukpuk. <laughs> Letter C. Uh, solve the tayo. So, science is 20% of 80. So, that will be in decimal. Bagawin mo to in decimal. This is 0.20 times 18 na ngayon and then sagot natin is 16 and what what is 16 ito na yung pupils so the number of pupils therefore our answer is 16 pupils like science the most to check and look back pwede natin gawin ang kabaligtaran so 16 pupils ang sagot natin 16 pupils of, out of 80 love science the most then 16 out of 80 that is 16 over 80 and then when you divide that you would come up with 0.2 and then change to percent you would go back to 20 percent at ito na yun okay so tama yung sagot natin example two mr reyes asked his class to vote on where they would most like to go on a field trip the choices he gave them were museo pambata national museum oceanarium science centrum and avalon zoo all 40 pupils cast one vote each how many percent voted for science centrum the pie graph shows the results ayan yung pie graph so choices for field trip since walang quest uh, walang title dun sa um, module nilagyan ko ng title so pwede mo rin um, ilagay na title dyan is uh, where to go on the field trip or choices for field trip pwede ganun ha so first step understand the problem what is asked balikan natin yung question how many percent voted for science centrum so hinanap dito ang percent or percentage so that would be percentage of pupils who voted for science centrum and then what are given again balikan dito so dito ang binigay is the 40 pupils yan and then the data here on the pie graph so that would be oceanarium i may 10 pupils science centrum i may 12 avalon zoo i may 8 national museum is 4 and museo pambata is 6 so dito ang binigay dito is hindi percentage ang binigay dito is the number of pupils plan so paano natin gawin so kung titignan mo percent or percentage ang hinahanap dito so that would be, hanapin natin yung science centrum. Science centrum dito is 12. So, that would be 12 out of 40. So, if it's 12 out of 40, ang gagamitin natin na operation to be used is division. Kasi, uh, ilalagay mo siya in a fraction. Diba? 12 out of 40. 
So, for the next step, that will be solved. So, 12 out of 40 for science and room. Ayan. So, divide natin yan. You would come up with 0.3 supposed to be. Now, since kukuhanin natin yung percent, sige, dinagdagan ko na lang hanggang sa um, hundreds place para mas madali na lang. Okay? So, move ng isa, dalawa. So, you would have there 30%. So, yun na yung sagot natin. 30% of the pupils voted for science centrum. Check and look back. Balikan natin yung uh, solution natin kung tama pa. Okay, so, ang sagot natin is 30%. So, 30% of 40, okay, so dapat, pag kinuha natin 30% of 40, dapat babalik tayo sa 12. So, tignan natin ha. So, that would be 0.30 times 40, okay, and then kung i-multiply natin yan, you would have 12. So, tama yung sagot natin. So, 12 for Ocean or science, o science centrum, science centrum. Pala. Activity 1.1, so second activity, solve me. Ramon works in Sweet Tooth Cafe, a newly opened ice cream parlor located near the school. He asked 300 customers ages 10 to 13 years old about their favorite ice cream flavor. So, ito na yung pie graph niya. Okay? And then, okay, ito yung questions dun sa activity nyo, sa module. Which ice cream flavor was chosen by most of the customers? Kung titignan mo, pinakamalaki uh, na sector na part is chocolate. So, sagot mo dito is chocolate. So, madali lang siya sagutan. Uh, based on the pie graph. Okay, next we have, which ice cream flavor got the lowest number of votes from the customers. Yan, kung titignan mo, yung lowest dito is ube. ba? So, madali lang, titignan mo lang yung pie graph. How many customers choose vanilla as their favorite ice cream flavor? So, vanilla, ang pinakita dito sa vanilla is 24%. So, this time for number 3, magkukompute ka na. What is 24% of 300? Yan, so 24% of 300, so this is just 0.24 times 300 and the answer is 72 customers number 4 how many customers choose strawberry and vanilla as their favorite ice cream flavor so strawberry and vanilla ang hahanapin natin dito so ang strawberry is 18% and then vanilla is 24% so this time i-add mo muna yung dalawa so 18% at saka 24%, that is 42% of 300. Okay, so ito yung first step na ginawa mo. in mo and then i-times na natin. 42% of 300, that is 0. 0.42 times 300. And you have 126 customers um, who choose, who chose strawberry and vanilla. Okay, kasi dalawa ay and. Right, number five. How many customers choose chocolate and ube as their favorite ice cream flavor? This time again, pagsama natin yung dalawa. That is chocolate, which is 45, at saka ube, which is 13. So, this is for a total of 58%. So, 58% of 300, that is again 0. 0.58 times 300, so a total of 174 customers chose chocolate and ube as their favorite ice cream flavor. Let's try this one, activity 1.2, complete me. In a survey, 250 people were asked what their favorite type of show is to watch on TV. How many people responded that they prefer to watch sports or documentaries? See the pie graph. So, ito na yung pie graph. So, nilagyan ko ng ano yan, title, favorite type of TV shows. So, first part, okay, understand the problem. Ang nandun sa module nyo, nilagay lang ask. So, ano ngayon ang hinanap? Dibalikan natin yung question, how many people responded that they prefer to watch sports or documentaries? So, that would be the number of people who prefer to watch sports or documentaries. And then, given facts. 
Okay. Pareho lang yan. So, what are given? What are the given facts or just given facts? So, given facts, start tayo with the problem. You have there 250 people. And then, the data on the pie graph is reality 10%. Drama is 28%. Sports is 35%. Documentaries is 27%. Right? So, plan. Ano ang gagawin? Now, since ang tanong dito sa question is, or ang hanap natin dito is, the number of people who prefer to watch sports or documentaries. So, dalawa. Kaya, best strategy operation to be used is addition and multiplication. Kasi, i-add mo muna yung sa sports and documentaries, and then, kuhanin mo na ngayon kung ilang percent lahat yun out of 200 50. Okay, so addition and multiplication. And then, solve na natin. So, that would be, ayan, 35% for uh, sports and then documentaries, that's 27%. A total of 62% sa dalawa. And then, kuhanin na 10, ilan yan? So, 62% of 250 na tao. Okay, and then multiplying, that is 0. 0.62 times to 50. And then, that would be 155 people. Okay? Yan. So, there were 155 people who prefer to watch sports or documentaries. And then, check. Tignan natin. Kung babalik ka ba talaga sa um, 62%. Okay? So, to go back to 62%, edi 155 over 250. And then, that would be, ang sagot mo ay lalabas na 0.62. And then change to percent, that is 62%. And that 62% is for the 35% who watch, who watch sports and then 27% for those who watch documentaries. Alright?